Kevin Blunk with Heavy Metal Television. I'm here with Aaron Nordstrom from Gemini Syndrome. How you doing today? Good, good. Hey, what's uh, up? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, how's the current tour so far? It's been good. Good? So I heard you're at the, the tail end of it. How's the uh, main majority of the show's been? I've been good. Good? Just about every person. Yeah. Favorite spot so far? They're all different. Um, any place you ever want to play in the world? that you haven't got to yet, that you've heard is just like amazing to play in? Yeah, anywhere out of the country. Anywhere out of the country? Well, we've played, we played Canada a couple of times. Uh, yeah. We did show rocks in the play in the Bahamas. Okay. Um, I'd love to go to Europe, I'd love to go to Asia. Okay. So, Most definitely, I haven't been to any of those places. So I'm a local boy, born and raised here, so yeah. yeah. Um, anything special for the Halloween show or? You guys gonna do anything freaky tonight? Uh, if we do, it'll be completely last minute. Okay. All right. I was like, I'm a fan of Halloween. My birthday's near Halloween, so I've always just been a fan of the holiday. Right. We had a bunch of plans that we talked about doing, and then never followed through on so, <laughs> Okay. I mean, I understand. We're gonna get AP of bunny onesie. <laughs> that. Um, I was gonna get spray tan. Be a tan guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I say I can work on my tan too. It was cool <laughs> ideas. You know. just, didn't, just didn't get, just, didn't, just didn't work out. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any crazy road stories? Um, I'm a fan of road stories. I've heard plenty of them. Crabs trying to be killed. People slapping people. I've I've heard them all. You know, we have this this, this curse now. I think it is. So every time I get asked that question, my mind goes blank. I know there's been crazy stuff that's happened, but to be a talk, they, they, they all escape me, dude. Yeah, yeah no escape. worries, no all worries. Uh, any fans that are just ridiculous to you guys? Anybody trying to rush the stage? Anything yeah, like that? That stuff, we've had, uh, we've had a couple people get engaged uh, at the shows. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. At the acoustic thing. Okay. We just played in. Uh, Virginia Beach on this tour, and uh, it was one or two years ago. A couple got married on stage right before the play. They like brought their own priest and everything. They had <laughs> they had like vows written up that were different pieces of lyrics pieced together from different songs. Okay, and that was their vows. So that's pretty cool. So saw they came out to the show. Oh no, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, anything particular with uh, the Gemini and Gemini syndrome? Is it? You know, particular to the Gemini, or oh, it just represents duality. Okay. Yeah, yeah cause uh, my boss was asking, you know, like, what about Scorpio syndrome, this and that. And I was uh, like, hey, you just you're being funny, man. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's not it's not that close to the time. So like, okay. Okay. So just the duality of things. Yeah, not, not the of the okay. Yeah. So I'm a Scorpio myself, so. Uh, but I'm not too into any of that. I can't really tell you too much outside the box of what that is. But um, apparently, it makes me angry. Is what people say. Can you ask me? Do you guys work on any new material? Any secret stuff? Uh, it's not so much secret. It's basically, after this tour is done, in a couple of days, we go home, take a little break, and then we're done. That's it. Next record. Okay. So we'll do that thing for the next. Handful of months, mm-hmm. it takes. Mm-hmm. Months. Drop the album, tour again. Yeah, rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you guys have been around for a while now. How long? Ten years? Eight. Eight. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I've always been a fan of music and everything in between. Um, love heavy metal. Um, any particular favorite bands that you've been influenced by or anything like that? Uh, okay. All sorts of other stuff too. Maybe do electronic and hip hop. Was a big Paul Logan fan back in the day. Oh really? Yeah. Or BT and all that stuff. So it hasn't Yeah, me too. For the most part, usually I like to annoy people with heavy metal. A lot of people don't listen to it, so that's what I hold my windows down to. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have anything ranging from Elton John to Trivia to Gemini Syndrome to some crazy stuff. I mean, it goes all over the place. That's good to keep it diversified. 
Yeah, most definitely. I feel like it helps with the uh, idea aspect of it, too. Do you ever listen to completely different music to try to draw ideas for your own writing? Not on purpose. I would say it's like an intention. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's say hi to the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Say hi. Sorry. Yeah. It's more the merrier we can be in a party in here. It's just kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> Charles. He does everything. He makes the ship go. Yeah, that's good. That's a good person right there. Just keep things running smooth. Yeah, I believe we met him here actually back in the day. Um, oh, really? He's been working with us for a long time. Uh, when we first met him, he was too young to get into the shows. Oh. So he would drive down from the Flagstaff area and he would hang out in the alleyway and listen to, to the show through the door. And then you had all this little gear, the show. Oh, wow. And I eventually was like, you want to come on tour? Do the baby. And he said, sure. And he was in there since, and basically our stage manager. And wow. He knows the whole setup, he drives. I'm trying to get wow. The the ship go. Wow, that's good. I mean, to find a guy like that what just kind yesterday? of chilling out in the back alley at one of his shows, that's, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Just happy to be here and happy. You know, like yeah. Music and yeah, that's how I am. I mean, I do this just for the fun of it. I, sure. I love the aspect. I love meeting people. I love meeting bands, doing interviews, stuff like that. love going on stage. Um, I play guitar myself. You know, I have eight guitars. And, you know, I just love jamming out and doing my own thing for the most part. Yeah. Um, any other bands that you played in and stuff? Or, you know? Uh, I mean, I've been playing in bands for many, many years. A bunch. Yeah. Uh, but I suppose most notably, I played guitar for Otep for a couple of years. Okay, yeah, I read about that. Um, I love Otep too. Yeah. They're pretty badass. I love Otep. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of drawing blanks here or anything. This is my exciting phase. Like yeah. I said, it's the end of tour. Yeah, oh, yeah, most definitely. I understand. I mean, like last night, like I said, before we turned the camera on, like last night, radio this morning, and now we're here. So. Yeah, just trying and to catch up on sleep. And yeah, it's sort of winding down, man. Um, yeah. Double espresso. That's not really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guy can serve the energy for the stage tonight. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, anything you want to say in particular? Nothing? Yeah, man. Keep your eyes out for record three. Record three. All right, guys, you heard it. Record three.